in this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for 250,000 MT right now in NBA 2K23. My team, this is going to be a great starter squad budget team, whatever you guys want to call it. So if you have around 250K or you just want to know some of the best budget cards to pick up and add to a squad, this is going to be my best team for 250,000 MT. So starting at the point guard position is going to be the Dark Matter Men Thompson for about 20K. He is such a good point guard, six foot seven at the one, seven foot wingspan. Like I think he's a top five point guard in the game, which is kind of crazy to say for a card that's only 20K to be top five at their position is insanely good value. He's a really good defender, 92 block, 98 steal, 98 lateral quickness, 97 perimeter, 93 interior defense. So he's quick, he's athletic, he's great at going to the rim, has perfect defensive tendencies, an amazing jump shot with the Derrick Rose base, Steph Curry upper on very quick timing. He's got amazing dribble sigs, and, and then he's got some of the best dunk packages in the game with the quick drops off one, the front clutches, but then also these crazy good dunk packages like the Zion, the Shaq, the Vince Carter, the Giannis, the MJ, the Ben Simmons, the Dwight, like this card is an absolute demigod at point guard, and I think is easily going to be the starting point guard for this type of squad. And then next to him, you still want a little bit more defense from the card, so I do think you go AK-47, a guy that's going to bring the size and the defense next to an Amen Thompson type of card. He's six foot nine at the two, seven foot wingspan, and that's exactly what AK can bring. He can bring that defense about 98 in every single defensive category, almost every single, uh, almost every single Hall of Fame defensive badge. You take a look at his animations he still got or sorry you took you take a look at his tendencies they're almost maxed out and then you take a look at his animations and he's got such a good jump shot you know especially in the catch and shoot and then he still got pretty good dribble sigs with the tray size up the tray escape and the dame behind the back so he's not just a defender he's not just for defense and size even though that's the main reason why he's one of the best budget cards for also about 20,000 MT for AK. But the thing about this card is he can still create his own shot. He can still play make and be a really good secondary ball handler, even though the main offense is going through a man Thompson. And then at the starting small four position, I feel like you want a little bit more size, even more size if possible. And that's going to be Dark Matter Jonathan Isaac, who is a six foot 11 small forward. And he's going to be our lockdown. We got AK and Isaac, which I feel like is perfectly fine defensively also having a men thompson at point guard who's still a great defender himself but jonathan isaac is six foot eleven at small forward seven foot two wingspan and he's gonna bring that size we need at the small four position he's got a 98 block 97 steel 97 perimeter 97 interior defense and then has a capable catch and shoot jump shot jonathan isaac is gonna give you that crazy good defense and also be able to knock down threes in the catch and shoot and he's only about 15 to 20k so really good value in jonathan isaac for the starting power four position is going to be galley super marcus Saul, a really well-rounded power forward for only about 10 12 maybe 15k he's seven foot one at that power four position seven foot four wingspan and he does give you great defense and size he's quick 90 speed 90 acceleration he can knock down threes 98 three ball hall of fame agent three catch and shoot quarter specialist half limitless he's got a great jump shot pretty good dribble six he's a really good offensive power forward in the game probably the one 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 of the main things about this card is going to be the offense he brings to the table and still does have some pretty good size you know for a budget power forward and then to round out the starting lineup for the best team for 250,000 mt i think is going to be dark matter mark eden now he's definitely definitely on the more expensive side when you guys are seeing this video he might have come down a ton in price with those super packs dropping today i don't really know when you guys are watching this video so he might even be cheaper than what he is right now and i'm recording the video i think right now he's about 50 55k but later today i could see him going down to like 30 35k with those new super packs so he's going to be a seven foot four center with a seven foot seven wingspan and he is just going to be that giant center we need on this starting lineup because if you match into a or if you match up against a taco fall a manu Bull, a yao ming you know a rick smith whatever you, victor Wembanyama, you're going to need some size at that center position and for this type of price tag he is the perfect guy to go with he's such a good interior defender 99 block 98 interior defense 87 steel 94 perimeter every single hall of fame defensive badge but it's mainly his size and his player model that makes him one of the best center defenders and then he's also fairly quick 85 speed and 85 acceleration and his jump shots actually not terrible like the Taj Gibson upper is decent it's also on a card like Artis Gilmore and he does have the Ken Birch base so 
not a great jump shot by any means but also not terrible you know for this type of giant defensive center so yeah that's going to round out this starting lineup which is an amazing starting lineup for this cheap of a squad and then off the bench we still got some top tier cards i think ron artes is going to be an amazing point guard next to our backup shooting guard which is going to be asar thompson because asar thompson can just score the ball at such a high level and he's only about 10,000 mt six foot seven at the two seven foot wingspan his stats are amazing all around but the best thing about this card is easily his jump shot with that o'shea base rudy gay upper on very quick timing is an elite level jump shot he's got great dribble sigs with the d row size up the tray escape aim behind the back and then just like the other thompson twin you know men thompson asar is also going to have those crazy good dunk packages with the quick drops off one the front clutches and then also those amazing dunk packages in between you know that gets him some crazy good animations and then also his tendencies are almost going to be maxed out at a 98 so this card all around next to a guy like ron artest i feel like we're going to play really well off each other you got ron artest who is a top tier point guard you know on the defensive end six foot seven at the one six foot ten wingspan a great defender but just like ak he can still kind of score the ball right like he's a great defender that's what he's known for he's here for defense but he can still score the ball he's got a great jump shot he's got really good dribble sigs he can drive to the paint he feels quick on the court so I, th I think having that backcourt for Ron Artest about 20, 25K, and then a Star Thompson for 10 is going to be a really good value backcourt to come off our bench. But then for the backup small four position, we're going to really need some size here. So I think Big Z is really the only option because you guys will see what I'm about to do here in a second and why Big Z kind of has to be on the court. He's seven foot three, can play small forward shooting guard, seven foot six wingspan. And we know he's a huge mismatch on offense because if you have this card at shooting guard or small forward, there's not really too many small forwards and shooting guards that can guard a guy like Big Z down low, and then it's forcing your opponent to have to switch their matchups, you know, get all confused. So it's really nice to have this card on the court for one reason, especially, and that's and that's going to be because now for a budget squad like this, where there's not too many, you know, great budget power forwards or great budget centers in the game, you can now open up the possibility to run so many different combos with the power forward and the center. So what I'm gonna do is for cheap because we, we're kind of running out of mt limit like i think right now we're maybe at like 200,000 mt spent like 180 right because big z's about 30k i want a super cheap small forward and who's better than a super cheap small forward than jairus walker but you guys are thinking while i'm playing him at power forward he's only six foot eight that's going to be way undersized and it is but then in game you can switch the matchup so jairus walker is guarding the small forward for example if you want him to and then big z can guard the opponent's power forward so essentially in game big z is going to be playing your power forward position and jairus walker is going to be playing your small forward i think that's the only way to really make this bench work because there's no great bunch of power forwards in the game so i think doing this is the smartest idea and then to round out the you know full time and rotation for 250k is going to be ralph samson because just like mark eden if we match into a taco fall we match up against a yao ming a rick smith a manu bull we're going to need that size and that interior defense and that's exactly what ralph samson and mark eden bring to the table he's seven foot four with a seven foot eight wingspan and is a great defender who's still fairly quick and can knock down three so this is what the lineup would look like in the game off the bench ron artes asar thompson jairus walker big z and ralph sampson and yeah guys in my opinion that's going to be the best possible team for under 250,000 mt but let me know in the comment section down below maybe some changes and some upgrades you guys would make to this type of squad but hopefully you guys did enjoy and you did find it helpful and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.